Namaste, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish girl. I see the God in you. Yes, this is a love reading for you because I miss you so much. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end because this is going to be a juicy reading we're gonna start off with the first question and that is how is the person on your mind what do they want to say to you what do they want to say right now tap into this clear audience energy okay Ooh, I'm just here to tell you they have a lot to say they have a lot to say right now <laughs> because those cards flew out all right oh my goodness so we have karmic inter karmic partner interference so that could be work it could be a, a business issue it could very well be a third party situation it could be a lot of things but there is an interference and they are acknowledging that there's something going on I know you are my soulmate babe our bond is magnetic I'm seeing all the signs so okay if there is a choice to be made between you and a karmic interference a karmic partner then they're obviously choosing you because they know that they feel like your bond is magnetic. So I don't know if you're having to deal with someone who has children or you have children with them and there's other people, family involved. It's, the list could go on and on, but they do feel like your bond, whatever they have with you, it outweighs this interference, okay? That I'm not necessarily saying that they are or they aren't cheating, okay? But karmic partner interference sometimes does speak of infidelities, okay? I look at my phone every day hoping, hoping I would see a message from you. So I actually did see this when I was pre-shuffling. I saw it, it flew out, but sometimes I'm like, I'm going to wait because I didn't ask specifically, but I asked. So this came out again. They're definitely looking at your phone, okay? They're hoping to see a message from you. It just seems like, <laughs> oh all of my subscribers, all of y'all are just over the BS. Like, what is going on? Okay, I'm just saying. You don't got nothing to say to them, huh? What are <laughs> Let's see what are their intentions. I'm pretty sure you have a good reason. But this person definitely feels a bond with you and they feel a connection with you. I'm going through a lot right now. I need space and time to gather my thoughts. So even though this person might have some things going on in their life, they still want to hear from you. So just give this person as much space as necessary. You don't have to give them all of the space in the world. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like they want to hear from you. They want to talk to you. They want to be in your energy. Um, let's see what are their intentions within the next six months. Just what are they going to do? What are their intentions when it comes to you? Because what's going on with this karmic partner? Interference. Okay. So how are they going to handle that? Let's see what their intentions are. What are their intentions, Aquarius? <laughs> Don't forget to press like, guys. If you really like this, it really helps me a lot when you do that. Okay, wow, child. Okay, they want to take an innocent approach. They feel like, you know, you are precious to them. Your energy, your time, it means something to them. And they want to take baby steps is what I'm getting. So with this child, I'm getting that they want to take baby steps. Especially if you have children with them, they might just like want to focus on that. Okay. Um, 
they might not be getting right back to you, but they still want to hear from you. That's what I'm getting. And it's not just, oh, wow. Okay. So eventually this person, plain and simple, eventually they want to have children with you. Okay. Their current intentions. I'm going to say this is giving child and then we have engagement. That's giving some, some sort of commitment. Okay. Maybe it's not, maybe they want the engagement to last for a while. Maybe it's not like, oh, we're going to go run down the aisle as soon as we get married. But even though they need space, they're still considering you. There's still something here. I feel like this person you're dealing with could be go dealing with a, like a baby father or a baby mother type of situation hopefully it's not you guys going through this but if it is you know don't worry all will be well remember that you create your reality with the thoughts that you're thinking speaking of that it seems like this person they're gonna confuse you with some things i'm just being honest it's like one minute they're being serious the next minute it's like so are we engaged like you know, them being able to commit and stick to something is probably, yeah. I'm not a fan of chaos. I'm not a fan of chaotic energy. I'm not a fan of confusion. So I'm just saying, if you're feeling confused already by this person, don't be afraid to sit them down and let them know that you need clarity on what's going on, what's going on with them. Why are they saying one thing and doing another? They could be taking some time or they're definitely going to take some time to reflect on what you've said to them. So if you've recently sent them any type of messages, emails, text messages, they're definitely going to make sure that they're listening to what they're going to be listening to whatever it is that you wrote. They're going to be paying attention to it because. I do get the vibe that they know that you've been confusing them. Maybe you told them that because I look at my number. I look at my phone every day hoping to see, hoping to see your number. So I do feel like maybe they're going to think really clear before they do shit. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they're going to think long and hard because... I do believe that they are serious about you and they want to clear up some things. So whatever you told them that you need from them, that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be paying attention to how they speak to you, how they handle you right in the next six months. All right. So now let's tap into your energy on the situation. Who is this person and how are you kind of feeling about them? Right. In this situation. Yes. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a cap. Oh my goodness, a Capricorn. Because I feel like I might have just said Capricorn. I don't know. Like I feel like this person, they got you kind of hooked on them. You could be a little bit like you could honestly, you could love them and hate them at the same time. Like this person pisses you off like like no other, okay? <laughs> But then you're kind of attracted to them sexually. This person could be really good in bed. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, okay? Or they could just have it somewhere in their chart. Doesn't have to be a Capricorn. Let's see, how else are you feeling about this person? Wow, you feel like this person, they need to step it up. You feel like with them, sometimes talk is cheap. You got the Empress in reverse. So I just feel like you, you you get a vibe from this person. Like, are we really on this? Like, is this how it really is between us? And, and it's like, damn, like you didn't even return my phone call or you didn't even bother to like show up looking like whatever. I don't know. That Empress in reverse for how you're feeling about them, that's not good. So maybe you feel like they neglected you in some sort of way or they stopped giving you something that you deserve stop nourishing nurturing your connection right um for some of you you could feel like this person drinks too much or they party too much or they have too much fun um <laughs> for some of you you like that about them but yeah you you do feel like overall even though they could be neglectful you do feel like this is someone that you would take home to meet your parents you do 
So I'm not gonna drag them too much more, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra energy coming through. Yeah, you do feel like they, they're a catch. They are a catch. For some of you, they could even be in the limelight. Maybe they have some notoriety in their group or their town or online or they could just literally like be in the limelight okay and if that's you you feel like you love the fact that this person gets it but maybe maybe they act a little bit too possessive with you okay so let's move and see how are they feeling about you i can't wait to see that how are they feeling about you? I'm going to grab another deck just to see if we get some mirroring energy coming through. How do they feel about you, my dear Aquarius? I miss your energy so much. Let's see how they feel about you, Aquarius. High priestess yeah you know they pretty much feel like you can see them they feel like th that they can't hide anything from you and at the same time they never really know where they stand with you they want to know how do you know the things that you know for some of you you could have a really strong intuition right where you're able to find out information how else are they feeling about you? For some of you, they want to keep you a secret. And I don't think it's for a bad reason. I just feel like this person could have some insecurities here with this devil card. Okay? Yeah. Um, you see, we got the five of wands. Yeah, this person definitely, they would like, they'll get into someone's face for you. Listen, they feel like. They could even be a little bit argumentative and maybe it's like you take the high road with this person and you avoid those arguments. But I feel like this person overall, when I see this card, I'm just getting them ready to duke it out, okay? <laughs> and they feel like they want to fight for you, okay? How else are they feeling? Um, there could be some reconciliation. Maybe they want to give you an apology. Maybe they want to say sorry about something. Maybe they feel like they're going through something emotionally. And maybe you need a little bit more emotional vulnerability with them. Okay, that's how they're feeling. They feel like you really do love yourself. And they respect that. They admire the fact that you love yourself. You're really coming off as someone whose cup is full. Okay? So you do have the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. More Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through. Aquarius. How are they feeling about this? They definitely want to talk to you. And they get an adrenaline rush when they're in your energy. We got the Eight of Wands. They want communication they want more communication they want to talk to you is what i'm getting and they may even want to take you on a trip somewhere i'm also getting that when they travel with you if you've traveled with them like you're so much fun to travel with and they love your communication they love your wits and your banter like the way you communicate with them it's like it's very delicate some of you could have mercury and cancer but let's just see one more card to see how they're feeling. How are they feeling about you, Aquarius? Honestly, I feel like I, I get the vibe that for, for this person, they're really used to kind of being alone. And it's like with you, you make them want to come out of their shell more, okay? Um... You make them want to come out of their shell. You also make them want to seek spirituality on a much deeper level. We have the Four Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. I'm going to tap in and see. They love the fact that you kind of go off on your own sometimes. Like if you just don't need to be around their friends or if you'd rather like be around them and not be around other people, they love that. They think that's so hot. They think that's so sexy. Okay. So let's get some, 
Okay. That did just fall out, and I do feel like I'm, I'm guided to take it. Their thoughts are, I'm in so much pain. Let me just get this card. I'm in so much pain. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So their thoughts are, maybe being around you gives them some sort of encouragement. Maybe being around you or being in your energy is inspiring. Like, they need to get away. I'm hearing, like, I just want to get away. I just want to get away. I want to take a trip with you. I feel like you're going to make me better. I don't know if you want the responsibility, but it's okay if they are using you as a reason to feel good, but not if it doesn't make you feel good. You get what I'm saying? So this person could battle with depression. Just keep that in mind. That is coming through for some of you. What do they want to say? They want to know what do you want. And they know that they're selfish. They know that they're selfish and that their ego gets in the way sometimes. And so they feel like you should be more selfish. Or if you are being selfish, it could be making this person feel some type of way. They want to know what do you want? Like, do you want to be with them? Are you going to be able to, are you going to hit them up? Because it's like, they feel like you're, you're giving them mixed signals, okay? They feel like they're getting mixed signals from you. And that's what they're thinking about, okay? Let's get one more card and see what are their thoughts and then we'll get some advice well we got wrongful advice that's very interesting okay well this person thoughts are about you know making sure that you're the one that this is a real relationship they could even be thinking about getting things in writing okay this is um the high priestess card this is the hierophant card so this really does have to do with contracts Okay, legal work. So I'm just saying, I'm definitely seeing someone getting maybe even marital advice. Maybe they felt like the marital advice that they, they, they counseling, the couples counseling, maybe they feel like that didn't work. You know what I mean? So let's just get some advice about this situation. What should you do? What should you do about this situation? Aquarius. 